Oh, this worries me, electric stuff. This video has been sponsored by Stereo. How sick are these? Obviously both of these pay homage to the Monaco road trip in the Bentley and the North Coast 500 trip in the Audi R8. These are designed and made by Hannah's sister. I'll put a link in the description box below. But speaking of Hannah, we're still yet to find her a car. So previously, I bought Hannah her dream car, the C63, which was damaged. And the damage was a lot worse than we originally thought. So I ended up cutting my losses and getting rid. So the C63 has gone now and well, what a disappointment. How do you feel? Sad, that was my dream car. But it all wasn't doom and gloom because we've been on a lookout for another car for Hannah, but she's given me a certain criteria to meet. So it needs to be faster than yours or all of yours. It needs to be rear wheel drive and no less than eight cylinders, please. So, this is what I bought. Whoa, whoa, clear out the room, I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit. Yeah, I put that on mamas. They trying to block all my blessings. They thought I lost the snapping. I bet on me and my team. I so is what I'm rapping. I got her a Ford Mustang, baby. <laughs> So, are you happy with it? So happy. I think it meets the criteria. Yeah. But I also think you should talk us through the specs, Matt Armstrong style. Let's do it. <laughs> Unlike the C63, it's not bent. It's never been in an accident. Five litre V8. It's got rear wheel drive, so it's a bit wobbly. The number plate says, my stain. If you didn't already notice, it's red. 453 bhp, more than any of Matt's. <laughs> So Hannah, being the girlfriend of myself, of course, wants to have a little bit more involvement with the YouTube channel. So to start with, we need to get a, a cool car. I think we've ticked the spec right there. And it's not German, it's a little bit different. It's American. So together, together we are gonna modify this and Hannah is gonna learn as she goes along. We have got some crazy plans for this and I think Hannah has got something up a sleeve that I do not know about. <laughs> so if you are ready to see Hannah modify the hell out of her Mustang, I think you're gonna ruin it to be honest. You know what you've gotta do. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but we are gonna jump straight in this video with the first modification for the Mustang and obviously Hannah's gonna be doing it. And can you believe I bought a car which has got no crash damage or no weird history with it? Yet. <laughs> now there is a bigger reason behind this all why I got Hannah a Ford Mustang and you can find that out on the app called Stereo which is today's sponsor of the video. So you're going to want to listen to this because it is completely free and if you like this YouTube channel and want to know everything that goes on behind the scenes and everything about me and Hannah you're going to want to click the link in the description and download Stereo. So Stereo is a new app which works as a live broadcasting app. <laughs> Snow went in my mouth. It allows you to talk and listen about topics that you care about. So I've already hosted two shows on there with Hannah and I like the app because I can talk about things on there which would be too long to talk about in a YouTube video. End of 2019, I was getting ad revenue from YouTube which was about £300 a month, £400 mm. a month and I was like, oh my yeah. God, I think the mortgage was out at the time. I was like, oh, it's yeah. paying the mortgage. I was like, this is amazing. And then all of a sudden in January, got the Audi S5 and my videos just absolutely just blew up straight away didn't it it just went mad one video blew it up so I've scheduled another show with Hannah on Friday at 7 p.m. where we're gonna be talking about all the cars I've bought why I bought them where I find them from and all about the modifications of my journey with the cars and if you listen to it live you can interact and ask questions as we do the show so go download stereo by clicking the link in the description box below go follow me and listen to us live at 7 p.m on friday okay so this is a five litre right yeah v8 okay just start it up no way it sounds like someone's put potatoes in your <laughs> exhaust no i said this car wasn't broken or damaged at all 
but that exhaust just doesn't sound right to me. That is something we need to fix very soon. Okay, so even though you're found your car now, yeah. my R8 is going actually tomorrow to Mark. So I'd like a replacement of the R8, something similar. So let's go and head to something where I think this could be a potential replacement. So again, I actually posted this car on my Instagram and seen what you guys thought of it. Obviously BMW i8 or was a BMW i8, so it's been a front end accident. But let me know what you guys think. So we're just having a look. It's having a bit of a front end smash. Bought from an auction and we've got a crack in the windscreen there. But generally, again, it's gonna be one of them cars which look like an easy repair. It looks like it's had all new suspension arms down here. All new suspension down here, so maybe that was damaged and has been repaired. There's no front bumper on it. The crash bar looks, I don't know whether that's brand new or not. Wheels crack, that's saveable. Set the inside. And we've got some kind of wiring. Oh, this worries me electric stuff. Crash damage BMW i8, um, a lot newer than obviously the Audi R8, but again, these have depreci depreciated a lot in value. Um, there may be a reason for that. It'd be nice to see whether it starts up. So it does start up first time and run. But again, it looks like something that could be an easy repair or could be a nightmare. Let me know what you guys think about this i8 in the comment section below. I'm still on the fence. I may offer a really low ball offer and, and see where we go from there. What do you think of it? I thought it was sick. Oh, Hannah actually liked it. <laughs> I think it's all right. It looks like a supercar, but it's, it is slightly underpowered. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Right, now, we're gonna do the first modification, well, you're gonna do the first modification to the Mustang. Let's go do it. Where's that going? Window. This it's is going to increase it by about 50 bhp. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to start her off small. I mean, this is the first little mod. We'll break her in and then we'll get ridiculous with it, I'm sure. But don't mess this up. Let's fit it. Wow. I think it looks pretty sick from here. They are like a carbon fiber, almost effect. I think they look weird. Oh, I like them. I, I think I think it will look good once there's loads more modifications to the car. But and when the tints are done. Yeah, so I think we need the window tints on the back. Um, it looks like something that should be on a crazy modified car and it's just not crazy modified. Yet. The, <laughs> these lights, definitely need tinting or whether you can change these little white bits to black i think that would definitely make it a little bit more evil but yes it looks like an actual fish bowl right now with no tints <laughs> so in the back it makes you feel like you're in a prison now and there is absolutely no headroom in the back here i ain't the tallest of people but <laughs> this is ridiculous look at that arch gap oh my god but we've got plenty of time to be getting on with modifications for the mustang let us know in the comment section below what you think of hannah's new car and quite conveniently the v8 hoodie still remains relevant <laughs> because we still have a v8 and the maserati as well 
So the link is in the description for those as well. Let us know what you think of Hannah's new Mustang and give us any modification ideas. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace out. And also don't forget to download Stereo app so you can listen to us on Friday at 7. Peace out.